Authorities have disposed of some potentially explosive material discovered in the Fresno County foothills. A firefighter on his way to work this morning spotted what he thought was a pipe bomb on the side of the road near Toll House. That device turned out to be something else that's explosive and dangerous. Action News reporter Santaya Rose is in the newsroom. She talked to the battalion chief who made that discovery. Santaya? Well, Warren, this firefighter takes this route to work all the time, but today he noticed this suspicious metal object. As it turned out, it was another popular explosive device used to manufacture a potent honey oil that's used to get high. And this is kind of what the roadway looks like. Josh Chrisman definitely has a knack for finding things that seem out of place. Tuesday morning, he found something that dozens of other drivers passed by. He turned around, called it in, and then took a closer look at the device. Fortunately, I have zoom on the camera. I was able to zoom in and get some pictures from the roadway. Chrisman knows every turn along his windy way to work from the Fresno County foothills to the Cal Fire Station where he works in Sanger. He's even narrowed down a time frame he figures the pipe was put there. I'm almost positive it was not there yesterday about five o'clock when I went through there. So sometime during the evening, during the night, uh, last night is when it probably got placed there or fell off there in that area. Lieutenant John Reynolds of the Sheriff's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team says the pipe concerned deputies for several reasons. Definitely suspicious device, uh, uh, galvanized steel pipe, end caps on both ends, a hole on one end as well, and, and that's something that we would see common with a pipe bomb. Once it was methodically taken apart, the team discovered it wasn't a pipe bomb, but just as dangerous. The pipe was filled with marijuana and used to make butane honey oil, a concentrated oil filled with THC, the active ingredient in pot. Those labs are very dangerous. The, the extraction method they use generally uses butane, which is very flammable and um, they expose it to a heat source to evaporate butane off and they're very volatile. We've had a number of explosions. A can of butane was also found a short distance away from the pipe. Deputies say these honey oil labs are growing in popularity and they are flammable just like meth labs. Chrisman says it's the most unusual discovery he's made and he's glad he stopped. The area where he found it is a place traveled by many including children and teens. As I know in that area in, that, in particular there's a lot of kids after school riding their bikes up and down the road. I was concerned that maybe someone would find it and be playing with it. Deputies are now processing the material for fingerprints and evidence, and this is the third honey oil lab Fresno County deputies have discovered this year. In the newsroom, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.